Good morning, first graders. Happy Wednesday. Today, we're going to read our morning message, do some of our calendar activities, and then we're going to talk more about clocks and how sometimes clocks can be digital and you read them a little bit different than the round clocks that we learned on Monday. So let's get started so that we can get all that done. Good morning, first graders. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020. You will practice reading digital clocks. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Love, Mrs. Roche. One quick announcement, boys and girls. In your bags that were picked up on Monday, there's a big yellow envelope, and inside that envelope was a blank piece of paper. On that blank piece of paper, that's the paper that you're going to use to illustrate or draw a picture of your habitat and an animal or animals that live in that habitat. Remember when we were working on our writing and we were practicing making a book? Well, you've got all your writing done, just not the picture. So what I need you to do is draw a picture on that paper. When you're done, you put it back in the envelope and put it in the mail and it'll come to me. It already has a stamp on it, so that's all you need to do. Now, just a reminder, you cannot use crayons. You have to use either markers or pencil. Now, it can't be colored pencil, but if you use just a regular pencil and leave the parts to be colored, I can color it for you, but remember only markers or a pencil. Okay. When you're done, put it in that envelope and send it my way so I can put all of our classes work together so I can send in that information to be published into a book. Now, if your parents bought a book, they'll probably receive it sometime when you're in second grade just because it takes time for that book to be made. If you have any questions, you can call my Google Voice number, you can email me or message me on Seesaw and I will help you, okay? So let's get started on our learning. Yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, and tomorrow will be Thursday. The weatherman says that today is going to be partly cloudy, about 63 degrees, but a little windy. A penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is ten, and a quarter is twenty-five. All right, boys and girls. We are going to be learning about digital clocks. You've probably seen digital clocks on your iPad or a tablet or maybe on your parents' watch or maybe even a clock in your house. When you see a digital clock, that means it has numbers, okay? The first number tells the hour. So this is our hour number. Okay, and these two lines represent our minutes. And when you are telling the time on a digital clock, you just read the numbers. So for example, if I said it was seven o'clock, my hour is seven, my o'clock means two zeros. Okay, so now it says seven o'clock. If I were to change my minutes by erasing that and putting a three, what do you think the time says now? You're right. It's still the same hour, so it's seven, and this is the number 30, so it's 730. That means 30 minutes past seven o'clock. So today in your math page, you're going to be working on reading digital clocks and even writing some of them. So let's get started. Today you're going to learn how to tell the time to the hour but using a digital clock. On your page, you can see that the clock has zero, zero, which means that the minutes are o'clock. If Amelia wakes up for school at 7 o'clock, could you know what number to write uh, before the two dots? Think about it. It's 7 o'clock. 
You're right. You would write a 7 there because it is 7 o'clock. When you're reading digital clocks, you write numbers. Another type of clock is a digital clock. A digital clock uses numbers to show the hour and minutes. The clock shows 2 o'clock. So there's a 2, the 2 dots, and then 0, 0. 0, 0 means that the minutes are o'clock. So on this page, we're going to use the clock it's showing us, but now change it to writing digitally with numbers. Problem 1. So look at the purple clock. The short hand is red and pointing to the 11. So I'm going to write the number 11 first. Then the blue hand or the long hand is telling me my minutes, which is o, 00 o'clock. So I'm going to write 00 next. For problem 2, it says 6 o'clock. For problem 3, it says 12 o'clock. And for problem four, it says three o'clock. Go ahead and write yours. Okay, it's your turn now to look at the clock and write it in the digital clock with numbers. Remember, if the long hand is pointing to the 12, you're going to write zero, zero for the minutes. Problem five reads eight o'clock. Problem six reads one o'clock. Problem seven reads five o'clock. Problem 8 reads 10 o'clock, problem 9 reads 9 o'clock, and problem 10 reads 4 o'clock. 11. Rachel goes to the cafeteria to eat at 11. She is there for one hour. What time does she leave the cafeteria? 11 plus 1 equals what? Go ahead and write that number on the line and then fill in your digital clock. Problem 12. Mrs. Webb's class came in from recess at 2 o'clock. They were at recess for an hour. What time did they go out to recess? Explain to a friend or someone at your house how you know. 12 take away 1 will help you find the answer. Okay, write your answer. You can write what I wrote by pausing the video and writing the sentence. Explain how a digital clock shows the time. The blank are shown on the left and the blank are shown on the right. Use the word bank to your left that says minutes or hours to put in the blanks. Hi boys and girls, hope you had a good time learning how to read a digital clock. If you have any questions with that, feel free to reach out. I will help you as best as I can. Um, in your math book is where you are going to be keeping those papers. You do not have to be ripping them out. Unless, of course, it makes it easier for you to write in. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!